Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're just gonna have a look at the um, Hewlett Packard Enterprise DL560 generation tin that I also looked at well that must be 14 days ago and um, I got some good um, suggestions and questions in the comments and I'm gonna try some of them um, yeah first one how much power does it use and we can go check that I've just been um, well running a Windows update thought that was probably somewhere good to start and I have a power meter here that we can zoom in on there okay I have 237 volts apparently it, it uses 2.15 amps and that is just below 500 watts as well it varies but 500 watts ish so oh we can I think we can see the maximum here as well yeah maximum that it has drawn doing power up and doing its stuff is 1243 watts and a lot of random stuff there so that is 500 watts not doing anything at all it's it's not actually doing anything it's just sitting there so in my last video I had uh, issues testing this because when I was testing it it would only use just about half the cores in the processors in here and in the comments I was pointed in the direction that um, you can in the BIOS set it so that it shouldn't talk between the processors uh, because of latency in well, cross-processing talk-ish and uh, I, I actually changed in the BIOS for it um, this server was set up for it has some really nice presets that you can set in there and this was set for maximum virtualization and I, I shifted it to a more general high performance one and I just tested it and it actually works and I didn't save the changes so that I could show it to you again so uh, let's see what it does for this there we have the program and you can see down here what our last score was which is definitely not bad up here it now sees cores 144 threads so when we run the CPU test here it um, it does that really well I must admit and it also scores quite a bit higher like those 8923 well they are they are definitely good numbers and this program finishes so fast that I'm not a I really wanted to show you the power uses but I'm not sure that I can move from here and over to the power meter uh, while it's actually working so we're gonna we're gonna pick the newer version that, that works a bit longer oh and this time we'll save the score uh, blah 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 yes yes so let's let's try this trinity tree thing here there and we can see that it compares itself to a to a ryzen thread ripper over here which scores 30,054 uh, we do get the right amount of cores here so we should get some really good results so let's start this and this will run for a while so we can we can make it over to the power meter but we will also be able to hear that the server will be working very hard on this as you can hear it's ramping up the fans so let's see what power it uses Yeah, that's the amps. Oh, it goes up and down a lot. 
What? Oh, 1400 watts, 1300 watts. Yeah. This is uh, this is sucking a bit of power. Oh, it, it varies a lot. You can see that. So, yeah. And I know that if I should put the mouse here, oh, there, we can get some numbers. And it's actually rendering 61,922. So it is over twice as fast as a Threadripper uh, 2990W something something uh, WX, which is a 32 core processor. But this is also four processors working on it. So, so single processing wise, the Threadripper is um, is still very 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 good. Okay, this is pretty cool. I just um, looked at the CPUs while it's uh, doing the render test. So look at this. We have the CPUs there, and if I press start here and go back to the CPUs, you will see all of them going up to 100%. There. And it stays there for the while until it's done and then it drops again 144 uh, threads so a little bit of a short video um, this worked way too fast I wasn't expecting it to be this quick um, and I just went into the BIOS and I, I uh, well it has these presettings uh, this one was set for virtualization maximum performance so I changed that to generic maximum computing something and that made it use all the cores in the CPUs so that was pretty cool um, I was also suggested that I could try and use it for folding at home I think we'll turn it off it's actually pretty noisy <sighs> yeah it, it's it's funny enough the G8 was really quiet. This G10 is rather noisy. Um, yeah, folding at home, but I've been doing plenty of folding at home tests and I know that even a pretty bad graphics card will beat even the fastest CPUs and probably even by four times. So it wouldn't matter that much. And as power has become very, very, very expensive, it would be really stupid to start folding at home with CPU power, except if the machine is kind of on anyway. Um, we do still do a little bit of folding at home. I'm still on there and our little team is actually, I think we were number 83 in the world. The My Playhouse folding at home team. Let's go check that. Yeah, number 83, it's, it's up there. We are number 83. And these are the teams that we are going to be taking over <laughs> in 1.4 months. We are going to take over the next team, but we will before that be taken over by this one in 1.2 months. So we'll be losing a spot there and we'll be gaining two spots. But yeah, we're not doing that much anymore. Uh, this is how much we're doing. And if we go down here, you can see the list of people that is uh, still doing the best I'm there on a 13th place so I well at the moment I'm getting my ass kicked severely so yeah and if we go up here we can and if we go up here and click we can see our our position here and the teams in front of us and the team we have passed so yeah, kind of a short video. It worked way too fast. I hadn't, I wasn't expecting that, so uh, sorry about that. But um, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.